we have same poop, but we haven't met before. Interesting. <clears throat> what are you doing, Jim? I'm getting my microbiome sequenced. What's your microbiome? It's, it's the microbes. They live all over you and inside you. The bacteria, viruses, fungi. And I'm gonna figure out what they all are in me. I call them microbes. All right, just call them microbiome. Where are you going? I'm gonna get the sample. A few years ago, we discovered that these microbes are basically an organ system. Much of the DNA in our bodies is microbial, and most of the cells we carry around are microbes. Even though they're so small that they only make up about three pounds of our body weight, they're all over our skin, in our guts, in our mouths, and they're integral to immunity, digestion, cognition, everything from body weight to anxiety to acne, almost everything our bodies do. Since discovering the microbiome, research and investment have exploded. Many believe that understanding and potentially manipulating our microbial populations will be a cornerstone of medical science in the not distant future. Some health technology companies are banking on this, like Ubiome. They've developed a method where people can get a sense of their own unique bacterial populations. For $400, Ubiome will give you an idea of what bacteria are living on your gut, mouth, nose, groin, and skin. Hey. Hi, I'm Jim. Hi. I nice brought my Ubiome kit. I didn't trust the Federal Postal Service. Yeah, you never can trust those guys. I wanted to get it sequenced so I could. Well, we'll process no. it right away in our state-of-the-art DNA sequencing. Oh, great. Lab. How long does that take? So it generally takes between two to four weeks to process your Oh. Time. Can I stay on the couch? Every sample that comes in goes through three steps. Extraction, amplification, and sequencing. Entering lab area, no food or drinks. All right. Okay, so this is our pre-amplification laboratory. So come on in. This is Kira. And she's... Hi, Kira. Here's the gut tube. What Kira would do is scan in your tube, stick it on that robot right there, put that with all the other samples, and then the robot will mechanically process to extract the DNA. By comparing your microbes to other people's, Ubiome is able to make certain educated guesses about your health, and some people use that information to try and change their microbes. All right, so uh, the big reveal, it's been two to four weeks since I got here. You process my sample. Correct. And I'm nervous to find out what we can tell from my microbiome. Sure. So your firmicus to bacteroiditis ratio is 3.5, something along those lines. So when I was envisioning you, I thought you were a bit on the chubbier side. But I'm not. Yes. So that was one of the observations, yes. Yeah. One of the other observations that I did is that you have one particular genus increased, and this has been linked to uh, depression. Huh. So... Which one is that? Alistipis. It's the most increased bacterium that you have in your gut. The most increased relative to the average? Relative to the average you buy use. So maybe you have a really San Francisco population <laughs> and you just need to get more people from New York. At Columbia University, Ian Lipkin thinks it's too early for most people to be sequencing their own microbiomes. I brought a stool sample, but he said he wanted nothing to do with it. Are you familiar with Ubiome, this company in San Francisco that offers microbiome sequencing? So do you think that right now, there's any utility to people having their microbiome sequenced? I don't think we know enough yet about the microbiome to be able to advise people as to how they should modify their diets or their lifestyles based upon the sorts of information you're going to get from a kid of this sort. Having said that, uh, the more information that we accumulate about how certain types of bacterial populations are associated with health and disease, the more likely we're going to get there. The Human Microbiome Project was based on 242 people. We we're preparing our first big scientific publication from Ubiome where we analyzed 10,000 individuals. Are you going to share that data with everyone? So we're, we're evaluating what the right format yeah, for this yeah, is going to be. Interesting. Yeah, How far down the line, how far out are we from basic microbiome screening being a part of primary care for people? It's a matter of time, really, before the sequencing technology is sufficiently robust and efficient that you can get this kind of actionable information in a matter of hours. And there, I think I'm fairly secure in thinking about a 10-year time frame. So I am not depressed. 
good. We're not experts even at naming, so we have to figure I out am. the right partners. I'm really good at branding and naming. Like, consider a new bacteria that you want to get on, say, Bieber, Kardashians. <laughs> I can have it. I can have it in Milan. People talking about it on Instagram, snapping it. You let me know. Awesome.